I am beyond excited to introduce our next guest. David Schmidt was a guest with us on the show about six years ago, and he taught us all about light wave and phototherapy and how we could heal ourselves from the inside out by going outside in. And LifeWave has boomed and grown, but the part that really, really excites me is that their mission really hasn't changed. So the live well, live long, live young, that I think is an offer that every one of us would say, yes, please, if we were given that opportunity and we're being that give, given that opportunity right now. David Schmidt, CEO of LifeWave, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, so great to be back and uh, to reconnect after all these years. So thank you for spending time with me. I'm very excited because we had a, a really amazing um a really amazing experience when we had you on the first time. I know Amy was having trouble with her neck. And in a matter of a minute, you were watching her. We were watching her become pain-free with full mobility, just using the science that you were introducing. So I wanted for our viewers who don't know you and weren't with us, I would love to bring them up to date and tell us a little bit about you and what got you to where you are today. So um, my background is in research, in uh, biology, and um, also in a number of other things. I was developing equipment for the US Navy through government contractors uh, during the 90s. Uh, this was survival equipment like emergency oxygen supplies, emergency power generation. And uh, I developed LifeWave, which is a new form of phototherapy, a new way to improve health with light in a very convenient manner. Uh, I originally developed that for the crew of uh, of submarines, uh, but then with 9-11, the technology went public, and uh, I started LifeWave in 2002, and we were at market in 2004. So uh, this year is going to be our 20, 20th year, 20th anniversary, celebrating our success in helping people all over the world. That's amazing. And you are helping people all over the world. So David, initially, uh, if I recall, this technology was really an effort to help the Navy, um, the, the Navy special ops groups with right. additional energy so that they were not having to drink, you know, um, external synthetic <laughs> forms of energy. And you came up with a way to help the body produce more energy naturally. And that's something that I think everyone, everyone I know certainly is open to more energy naturally, but it has evolved so far beyond that simple idea. So in this arc of growth in these 20 years, where, where did you start? How did you actually see it happening? And then where are you today? Well, uh, <laughs> that's that's big a big question. question. <laughs> so I'll, I'll take it a step at a time. It, so it started with this very basic idea that uh, we use cell phone communications, satellite communications, and what if we could develop a way of communicating with the body? Could we understand the code that the body uses for communication and then tap into it? And um, yeah, as you said, uh, what I was trying to do is find an alternative for the stimulants that the crew of subs were using to stay awake so they could go on very long missions. And um, basically, over a period of a few years, I came up with this idea that you could have a passive device that you would apply to your body. It's as convenient as applying a Band-Aid, but what it does is it's activated and powered by a person's body heat and it will stimulate the skin with very low levels of light to increase energy production in the cell. And at the time, I was just interested in finding a way to improve energy through elevated fat burning, uh, but this led into pain relief, improved sleep, anti-aging, uh, mobilizing stem cells in the body, and uh, the subject that I'm really passionate about right at the moment is um, that there was a link connected between this very basic mechanism and reversing uh, human biological age. 
So since about 2018-19, um, our labs here have been developing new technology uh, that looks like we're going to be able to uh, reverse in part uh, and in full uh, human aging. So that's what I'm really excited about today. Well, again, who would say no? Please tell us more about that. <laughs> yeah, it's so I would say it this way. Here's the thing that's really exciting is that uh, science does not have to figure out a way how to stop aging. What we really need to do is look at nature and all the examples that nature provides on species that are effectively already immortal and then figure out how to apply it to human beings. So it's a it's a very different problem to solve. So give me an example of a species that is already immortal. Lobsters. Lobsters are effectively immortal. It's one of the species that we study here in our labs. And what I mean by that is uh, there have been lobsters that have been found over 130 years old, and they have not aged in the process. They have complete control over oxidative and inflammatory stress. Their cells divide without aging. And if it wasn't for the limitations on their size, uh, then they could effectively um, not die. Of course, they could get sick. They could be killed by a predator. Uh, but they're very good example of, of a species that doesn't age. Um, there's also a species called planaria, and planaria are a flatworm. They have incredible uh, regenerative capacity. You cut their tail off and they'll just grow a new tail. Um, and uh, they, again, will not age, and as long as they're not killed by a predator, their lifespan is effectively immortal. Wow. So how do you then, and with I understand this is going to be either a scientific deep dive or you're going to be able to give me like 30 words to get to really clarify. But how do you translate that into the human aspect? I mean, how is that something that we can take and apply in in as simplistic form as a Band-Aid, as you mentioned before, with the photo light therapy? The the answer is both going to be uh one of the most exciting things that you've ever heard and also one of the most extraordinary because as it turns out the answer is in the bible but before i tell you about that uh which i didn't learn until after the fact uh during our research uh effectively in biochemistry uh what's known about lobsters and some other species is uh, the mechanisms of how their cells are able to divide an infinite number of times. So the biochemistry is, is understood. How you apply that to human beings is what people are trying to figure out. But what I wanted to approach the problem quite a bit differently. I wanted to see about how light was being used in these organisms. So we were studying planaria, lobsters, uh, and also a species of ant and looking at what type of light emission comes off of, of these, um, of the answer of the lobster. And when we studied this, I began to see that there was a pattern forming and it looked very much almost like a biological code or a computer code to me. And that it was not random, it was highly organized. And, um, as I started to develop a um, biophysics model for this and run some calculations, um, I started to uh, invent and develop technology and we started to do our studies. And we found in our cell culture studies that we could reverse the age of the cells two to three years in only about 10 minutes exposure to this novel type of light therapy. I'm involved in a Bible study. And one of the things in the Bible study is to look at the original Hebrew of the Old Testament or the original Greek of the New Testament. And in Hebrew, you can convert uh, letters and words over into numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I converted in the uh, book of Genesis, the, the story of creation 
I converted those words from Hebrew over into numbers. And the same pattern that was in lobsters was in the book of Genesis, in the story of creation. Wow. And this became uh, really self-evident to me, is that there is a God and creator. God created all things and put his signature in living organisms. And um, we can detect this today. It wasn't possible years, uh, many years ago, but technology now that's been around for, let's say, the last 20 years, where we can actually measure the light emission off of, off of these organisms allows us to validate that that is indeed the same as what's in the Bible, and these codes are not there by accident. It's it's highly organized. So it's not random, and you're able to duplicate it and also apply it. So well, well, that's the most exciting part is that you can actually apply it and turn it into technology that people can use. So one of the things that I did was I thought one day, what if God was trying to communicate to us something about the tree of life? So we know before Adam and Eve fell from grace that they had the tree of life that had fruit. They could eat from that and presumably be immortal. So I thought maybe the answer is just there. So I took the word uh, in Hebrew for tree of life, converted that into a number. And then I thought, okay, that maybe that number is a frequency. So I want to convert that frequency over into a wavelength of light. And it translated into 857 nanometers. That's exactly the wavelength of light that we use to turn on the mitochondria. And that's exactly the wavelength that causes the genes in the cells to revert to a, a younger expression. So that in no way can be a coincidence. In no way to be a coincidence, but it's not lost on me that somebody had to discover it, which is very, I mean, that's got to feel like something that it has fallen to you to actually uncover the secret. Oh, it's, it's pretty much a wow moment. Uh, and, uh, but the really fun part is when you can take that and you can apply it. And one of the things that, uh, we started to do in here in our lab is I got this idea that with the patches, we're stimulating the skin with light, but what if you could grow food and you could put the light into the food and then people would consume it, what would happen? So we did two uh, human pilot studies, uh, which were demonstrating age reversal uh, very rapidly. And um, what um, one of the things that we did was we put people in front of an infrared camera and we gave the, them this particular uh, material to uh, digest. They took the material and then within a few minutes, two, three minutes, you could actually see on the infrared camera, white light coming from their throat and from their head. So the light is going into the body, it's being metabolized by the cell, and then it's being released. And then just, from the inside out, they would reverse age. More yeah, organically, if you could sell food that's already pre-programmed, so to speak. That's right. Then that's right. We would, every, we would be able to access it more organically through our day-to-day. -day. Is that yeah. the idea? Yeah. What, what happens is that when you take these materials into the body that have been effectively charged with light, uh, the metabolism in the cell changes and it starts to speed up and the cells produce more energy and that causes the cells to expand and that's all measurable. You do it through interstitial scanning and uh, the age of a cell is directly correlated to its uh, size and membrane potential. So that's how we can determine uh, how much the cell has reversed in aging in a period of time. So where is this now in the state of things and when are we going to see this or have access to it? I, in my head, I'm I'm hearing half of our viewers saying, "This guy's nuts. This is not possible." And on the and the other hand, say, "Oh my God, where's the phone number? I want to call and get on board with this." Yeah, you know the really fun thing about this is that it's it's demonstrable, uh, and we've demonstrated it with blood tests, urine tests. 
So we have over 80 clinical studies that we've done in the last 20 years. We're a science-based company. And uh, whenever we do go to market with something, I have to you know, stand on stage in front of a lot of people and be able to say, hey, here's the evidence that we have to show that this really works. So um, this is uh, going to be a product and technology that we're going to come out with later this year to celebrate our 20th anniversary. So it's been in the works for a long time, but finally we get to reveal it this year. I'm so excited that we reconnected now. It sounds like the timing is also not accidental because I know our viewers and anyone I know certainly wants to know that this is coming and know where they can find it and learn more about it. I I know a lot of us have been tuned into things like the blue zones and, you know, living to a hundred and quality of life, but it's not often that you get to hear that this tech, this is actually in a technology that can have a much broader and much farther reaching impact than we can on ourselves one at a time. So David, where can we learn more and how can we track your, your uh, progress with this? Yeah. Uh, so our website is lifewave.com and where people should start is with X39. That's our flagship product. And the beauty of that product is that it will um, improve energy production in the cell. Uh, it helps to improve overall vitality, recover, recovery from exercise, improvements in strength and stamina. And uh, what people find from using it is that makes them feel like they're recapturing some of their youth and there's some good science behind it to show that. Uh, we have nine clinical studies just on that one product and uh, the results have been pretty remarkable. Super. I know people are actually already typing and I can hear people going into lifewave.com already. And and that's just a patch. That's one of those little one inch band-aids that you referred to before. That's something that's easy to use. What X39 does is that, that and that's really where, uh, to keep the story short, is where we really saw that human age reversal was going to be possible. Um, because X39 stimulates the skin with a blend of different wavelengths of light, and it triggers very favorable changes in the architecture of the cell. Now, what I mean by that is uh, Bruce Ames is a scientist in California, and he was uh, one that found if we can give the body acetyl L-carnitine and lipoic acid, we can improve energy metabolism, and we can make cells start to look and behave like younger cells. There's been some other work that shows that when we feel love to one another, that that elevates oxytocin and that regenerates the muscle tissue. And even people that are 70, 80, 90 years old, if they can live in a state of love or get their oxytocin levels elevated, their muscle tissue will actually revert back to an age of 25 to 30. So we know that age reversal is biologically possible for human beings. And uh, we're in really, really exciting times that way. Oh my God. So right this minute, my brain is saying, you know, Lauren, how you've always asked for being older, you, you want to be younger, but have the wisdom of today. I feel like we're there and thank you. <laughs> so, the goal. Yeah, that would be the goal. That's the yeah. goal. Perfect. Well, I know our viewers are going to run to lifewave.com. We're going to give them all the information here and also on the website. David, thank you so much for joining us. And I can't wait to catch up with you some more as this thing progresses forward. And congratulations on all the great work. Oh, thank you, Lauren. My pleasure. Thank you. And we'll be right back. <laughs>